In other news, seemingly unaffected by the controversy in the global scientific community, Greece has resumed production of chloroquine to treat cases of coronavirus and is conducting clinical trials with a calm and distant approach. According to scientists there, chloroquine, an anti-malarial drug, and hydroxychloroquine, a related compound normally used to treat arthritis, have been among the most high-profile drugs being tested for use against COVID-19. But last week, a major UK trial run by Oxford University halted its test of the drug, saying there was no evidence they worked against the new coronavirus in hospitalized patients. Take a look. Uh, in terms of scale, uh, we were able to, uh, to secure enough uh, active pharmaceutical ingredients uh, for 24 million uh, doses uh, that uh, we have pledged uh, to, uh, to grant uh, to the national, to the Greek national uh, healthcare system. Uh, people in Greece, the public, uh, healthcare professionals, um, institutional uh, uh, people in, with institutional roles, uh, they, they, they maintain a very uh, calm and uh, distant approach to chloroquine. Uh, so the idea is that we wait and see, we wait for the results. We also remain vigilant for uh, a possible second wave that uh, could uh, take place at the end of summer or start of, of fall. So generally we keep at a high alert level, calm and ready. The move came just after the World Health Organization resumed its own trials after briefly suspending them in response to a now-retracted study in The Lancet. Last week's retraction, retraction of The Lancet study, which had found the drugs had no benefit in treating coronavirus and even increased the likelihood of patients dying in hospital, rocked public opinion and the scientific community. However, the manufacture of both medications has continued in many countries in Europe. Francis Sanofi produces hydroxychloroquine sulfate at a site in Hungary. The drug itself, under the brand name Plaquenil, is manufactured at two large production sites in Spain and France. Plaquenil is exported to several countries where hydroxychloroquine is not produced, such as Greece, Poland, and Estonia. In Bulgaria, chloroquine from the state laboratory Bulbio is or Bulbio is used for treating COVID-19 patients. Poland, which also authorizes its use, is considered a major producer of chloroquine with company Adamid producing it under the name Arikin. Questioned by AFP, a Hungarian government spokesman stressed that the drug was not administered to new patients but only to those who have already started treatment.